previously on M&A's Excellent Adventures. My name no, is No, your, your scatting abilities are I'm pretty in top my notch. Trust me, buddy, I'll be busting. And You're ruffling. You're ruffling, you fucking bitch. To I'm your neighbor. I'm not a bum. Sailing upon the SS ass. And he is looking for a fight. Excellent adventures where I'm Michael and I'm Anthony and we're, we're gonna, gonna tell, tell you a story, bitch. Jenks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. You owe me a soda. Just kidding. I'll just I get one wherever you go. Okay, yeah. never mind. Fuck it then. Whatever. Hello, how's it going, Anthony Peralta? Ass. I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much for asking, Michael E. Back, and your address <laughs> is. <laughs> what the fuck? How have you memorized that yeah. shit? G- yeah, uh, GPS location is negative four one two point three. No, 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 it's my turn to tell you a story. Yeah. Anthony, mm-hmm. tell them what I'm talking about. On this show, we tell fun improv stories. We love to tell stories about triumph and uh, despair and comedy and tragedy and all the things in between because not only are we the greatest what? ASMR podcast this what side the of the Mississippi, fuck is he talking about? but what the fuck we're the best that? podcast. Shit. In the entire what? country, if not the whole world, because what we tell stories every single week that about? the host knows, what the but the other fuck? person doesn't know, and it just makes Bullshit. It, it makes sense what once you think about it. shit that he's talking we about? We are so dedicated what to the show. We're recording this at right 11.30 p.m. This is on insane. a Sunday. So, what you know, we're kind of a big deal. Nothing he's saying is yeah. true. Absolutely, Anthony. Thank you. That was a good, nice, concise way to tell what we do here. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so before we jump in, Anthony was in the midst of telling me a story of his own before I had the story to tell for him. So, Anthony, take it away before I take it away. Okay. Well, I was working a wedding this weekend. At uh, a very big venue in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Doxed. You can have multiple weddings at the same time. And Doxed. so I, uh, I'm waiting for the uh, couple to show up on their little bus. It's called the Space Cruise is the company. Nice. And I was telling you, Michael. Um, we're the Space Cruise. And so I walk out five minutes before they're supposed to arrive, and I see a bus coming in, and I shit you not, it has, like, asteroids and a rocket ship painted on the side and Clearly shit. Clearly Space Cruise. And I was like, oh, shit, that's the Space that's Cruise. That's for sure Space Perfect Cruise. Perfect timing. Yeah. I came out yeah. just in time. Uh, so they pull up. Go. Bus driver goes like, okay, we're here, guys. He opens up his pack of Pyramid Reds, and I was like, bro, you're one of those people? Like, oh, nasty. yeah, of course he is. But anyways, so he's smoking, and one guy pops off, and he's wearing a blue suit, and the wedding colors of my wedding where uh, that I was working was navy blue. Navy and blue. And this guy comes out wearing you know, a blue suit. And he had a gold jacket, and I was like, oh, cool, or a gold vest. And I was like, cool, cool. Right on. Hey, man, how's it going? I'm Anthony. I'm the MC tonight. He goes, hey, Anthony, I'm Alex. You know, I'm the best man. And I was like, hey, cool, it's good to meet you, Alex. And then, uh, you know, a couple another person walks off, you know, like, oh, Jennifer, okay. Uh, And my sister, who's my roadie, just leans over and goes, Anthony, that's not the best man's name. And I said, what? She goes, yeah. The best man's name isn't Alex. And I went, 
Oh, and I checked it. I was like, maybe I did a typo. Maybe like Zachary is short for, or Alex is short for Zachary or something. Like I'm not quite sure. But then uh, someone else comes down and girl, they're like, hey, I'm Olivia. And I was like, okay, hi, good to meet you. I'm just saying hi, shaking hands. Like, hey guys, we're going to yeah. go out in just a sec. We're going to meet up. Uh, don't go too far. Just stay in this big circle and I'll tell you a game plan. And people were like, who are you? And I was like, I'm the MC. My job is to make sure you're partying, having a good time tonight. They're like, woo. And then Caitlin goes, Anthony, there's no Olivia on here either. I don't think this is the right bridal party. And I said, what do you mean it's not the right bridal party? It's, <laughs> That's a, it's clearly the space, space bus. Cruise. It's the space it's cruise. clearly space and cruise. And the bride and groom come down, <laughs> and it's not my couple at all. It's like the most <laughs> Western looking. <laughs> like oh they had like the cowboy God. hat on and shit. <laughs> and I was like, when I first met the bride or the best man and stuff, I was like, these guys don't seem like the, the crowd that would hang out with my couple, you know? <laughs> like... But you it was never so know. funny. Anyways, so I was like, oh, they were like, who are you? And I was like, oh, uh, I'm with the wrong crowd. You guys go have fun, whatever. <laughs> and I look on the side of the bus, and I shit you not, it was like, uh, like, space something. It was like oh. space bus. Why? Something. It was like a knockoff. Party it was bus a companies knockoff that are space themed. That's But insane. it was so weird. So that one drives away. Security saw the whole thing and they're laughing. The photographers laughing their ass off at me too. <laughs> and then <laughs> and uh, that bus drives up. away and 30 seconds later I see the next bus space themed as well except it didn't have like the asteroids and stuff oh it just had like God. stars on the side that sucks and that was space cruiser that was that my couple sucks. and it was like the fucking Jesus. two dates at the prom or some shit i was just oh so thrown so aback funny. dude so yeah i had two bridal parties standing right next to each other and they both looked very similar in outfits it was it was a disaster that uh the wedding great. went great so congratulations oh, that's good you know who you are but uh yeah it was a fun time <laughs> Good. I know they're watching. I know my bride and groom are watching. Well, of course. All of our couples have to watch. Uh-huh. They have to watch. And they're just texting us like, please, I just want to see my family. I just want to see my family. Well, Michael, right. aside from that little anecdote, what do we do? Improv stories, right? We do improv stories. Oh, yeah. I've got an idea of where it's going today. He ain't got a thing. Yabish. This better be good. So... It's 11.45. With that, then, why don't we slap it on there? And I got a little presentation for you, Anthony. You got a presentation? You just got to let it run. Well, without further ado, one, two, three, hit it. Tell me a story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. What? Oh, it's a lot darker than, uh... What? What? What's up? We've used this this stage image before. In this week's excellent adventures, witness the return of Jerome Plattsfield. I fucking hate you. You're a piece of shit. Jerome should have died forever. <laughs> now you can go to the next slide. That was it. Yeah. So. For those who aren't aware, do we have to go through that, who Jerome Plattsfield is? Yeah, I suppose so. For those of you who aren't... Well, actually, why don't we... Yeah, let's we'll, just go through here. We'll, we'll get explain it through it. Here. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to kill your mojo. So, Anthony, your character, Jerome Plattsfield. That's me. I'm Jerome. <laughs> Scatmaster and Mass Murderer. <laughs> That's so, a new title. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jerome is a character from a... Good. A few episodes back. Yeah, now. it was one of the, one of the best. I think fifty seven or something. Something like that. Yeah. Um, it was a half musical episode. Uh, Jerome Plattsfield kind of lives in a musical. No one else does. Mm -hmm. So he breaks into musical numbers. Oh yeah. And I'm nobody sure. else knows what mm -hmm. he's doing. Uh, and then turns out when he scats, it kills people. So he scats people to death. And ends up murdering everyone at a parade by just good going like in the zone scatting and everyone dies. So, so if you're not Jerome. familiar, make sure to check out that episode. Yeah, to it's get honestly one of my favorite. It's the episodes. best. It's absolutely it's so, worth. So absolutely good. Absolutely worth uh, re re uh, visiting there. So so. You've hired an assistant to join you on a desert journey to find a legendary ship. You misspelled desert. That says dessert. 
It doesn't. Yes, it There's does. There's two S's in dessert. Because you want more dessert. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Just checking. It's the SS Ass. That's the name of my ship? That's the, the one you're looking for. Oh, I'm finding a ship in the you're desert. You're searching okay. for this legendary ship in the desert. Gotcha. The SS okay. Ass, which some of you may know. You know, SS is a reference is a palindrome. To a ship. From a Captain Big Booty episode. What? So we're getting mystical in here. For those of you who don't know who Captain Big Booty is, in the intro where it says, Come at me, you old oh, bitch. bitch. That is him fighting a Kraken. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. But you'll be able to find what it. What was incredible about this here is that we're going to have all these links down below. Make sure you check them out. Yes. And get caught up with the war. And there's a little new thing going on with Jerome here. You've become obsessed with TikTok trends and never take out your AirPods. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's just a new fun little thing with Jerome. You're Sounds just really great. into oh, TikTok. Ho- hold on, hold on. And <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And you always have them in. Yep. Whether or not something is what? playing, I don't know. What was that? But you... <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, instead of fake prop, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no. Oh, almost, yeah. almost, but not really. Almost, but not really. There we go. So, oh, oh, I fucking yeah. love that. Anyways, for those who can't see and are listening to the podcast, I just put on my, my Galaxy Buds instead of my AirPods. So, because I, uh, I fell, I fell the wrong way. I fell the wrong way when yeah. I bought these. What a Anyways, fucking loser. Yeah. Right. With that being said. Well, we have my character to go. Oh yeah, your character. Who are you? <laughs> so my Sorry, character. Sorry, what was that? I can't hear you. <laughs> my character is Polly Planks. Polly Planks. Paul E. Planks. So Polly Planks, what makes you special? <laughs> I'm your assistant. Oh, that's right. You're my assistant. I'm your assistant. Polly Planks Paul helping out e. Jerome Plattsfield. That's right. Gotcha. Looking I, for the SS. I run a tight schedule and am desperately trying to keep on track or keep you on track without being scatted to death. So I accidentally like scat all the time without trying to. to, 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 to you to, could. To, 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 I bop, think bop. you've 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 discovered this power. Gotcha. So it's like I want to keep things going here, but also like I don't want to step out of line because you could very easily just fucking kill you me. You got it. Sounds good. So, oh, I see why we did the colors now. Nice little... Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So, we start... We're on our plane, and we're arriving to this oh. unknown desert place. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, Jerome. Looks like we're gonna be landing soon. So, uh... Alright, we've got our itinerary here. We check in. We're at the airport. Uh, you know, we Renegade. land there. We have Renegade. somebody to kind of Help us out. We have we have somebody meeting us there. They're gonna have a noise or a note <clears throat> with our name on it. They're gonna get us started in the right direction here. Um, kind of and I drive us out. What was that? I'm I'm going through our itinerary. I'm sorry, but what was that? So that you said? Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> my so, AirPods. Are in noise canceling mode. Okay. Can I? Could I get your attention? Now they're ju- in transparency mode. Perfect. So I was just kind of saying, you know, we're going to land at the airport. We have somebody waiting. They'll have a note with our name on it. Oh, yes. They're yes. going to take us to uh, kind of a shack that'll get us started, get us some supplies that we need to get going, and then they'll head us. You know, we have a map. Yeah. And everything. It's it's kind of low key. Uh-huh. Pretty hard to find uh-huh. people who believe that this thing exists. Cool. <laughs> Which I totally do. Yeah. I totally think it exists. I sure. think it's real. Um yep. so then uh well, yeah, and is, then we're gonna head out on that way. Is, but it's pretty time mm-hmm. sensitive. Sounds great. Cool. Thanks awesome. So, much. so we're just gonna go right ahead and, and we'll be ready to go. We're gonna just grab our bags and head out. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, it looks like we're landing here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just busy catching up on the latest TikTok trends. Did you hear about this thing called Renegade? It's kind of this indie thing, you know, like, not a lot of people have done it, but, you know, it's kind of just like, you know, Renegade, Renegade, and you go like, fwah, fwah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Anyways, um... Did I'm you, sorry. You just replaced my old my my old assistant uh, who I accidentally scattered to death. Uh, what was your name again? 
Uh, Paul. Paul E. Planks. Yeah, Paul, Paul E. Planks. That's yep. right. Yep, That's yep. what I called you. Yeah. I, you know, I, they say, like, you know. The Polly Planks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. So it was really cool. Um, no, I just have an immense respect for you. I think you're just like this really awesome person, and, oh, thank and you. I'm really happy to be around here. Um, I, and, and you know, I know how important this is to you, so mm-hmm. I'm just trying to make sure that it happens for you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah. You know, I've been hunting for this since my grandfather told me this ancient story about this ship um, who, you know, was stuck and deserted at the desert. Yeah. You know, most ships are deserted at sea, you know, right, but right. deserted at the desert. Yeah. Totally different thing. To- totally different. Yeah. Some would even say improbable. Like, yeah, some people like would say that would Super unlikely. And, but, but, not, but those people are ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I have a good fe- ridiculous. 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 Ridic- oh, it, it looks like ridiculous. people. Ridiculous. Are- ridiculous. We're getting to our aisle Holly. to leave to get off the plane. Planks. Yeah. But, oh, uh, we're getting off? Yep, yep, we're getting off cool. here. Sounds Look, good. We're the last people on the but, plane uh, here, so it's time for us to go there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, you're, cool. a little, so, you're a little uh, behind the, the track. Oh, I suppose you can't really hear the track because you don't have the ear pods. And, yeah, um, but I'm just, you know what? I, I'm just trying to follow your lead. No, I can try you know, to put it in speaker mode, leader. actually. No, that's okay. Yeah. That, that's okay. I, <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. Uh. Ridiculous. ridiculous ship in the desert. desert. Ridiculous. 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 Scooby do it up. No, no, no. So, so, this really awesome thing. Hey, look, 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 it's the person who's got our name. Oh. Uh, that's our name right there, so that's where perfect. we gotta go. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> um, cool. Hey, that's where we're with um you know, I'm 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 here with Jerome. I'm his assistant, yes, uh Jerome yes. Plattsfield. Yeah. Oh that yeah, nice me. to I'm meet Jerome. you guys. Very good to meet you. Very man. good to meet you as well. I'm glad that you're searching. Uh, well, maybe we'll talk about it when we get out of here. You know, there could be people listening, so it'd be a good idea to probably not talk about it so much in public. Are you saying we'll look for it, and that's not good for us because we mm-hmm. want you to find it because yeah. we really believe in your cause. Speaking Dude. of causes. Yeah. You hear about this cause that this TikToker is doing right now? They're kind of talking about, uh, you know, getting as many inflatable beds as they can for chimpanzees. Oh, really? Because the ergonomics of the uh, ecosystem. That's cool. Well, we got to go, so I'm, yeah. Well, you know, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, uh, before we go, <clears throat> are you telling me that everything that we're expecting is here? That's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The thing? Uh, yeah, dude, we're definitely saying that. So, like, we got to go, though. We're kind of on a time crunch, so we don't really have time for whatever you're doing. Like, just follow me. Come on. We're already running behind. What are you doing? I guess it's... We need to fucking leave. I'm going to leave without you if you don't go. You're right. Hey, man. Hey, hey. Take it easy. Just, uh... No, 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 no. It's cool. It's cool. Polly, it's okay. No, I got this. Don't worry about it. No, no, Polly. Polly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be fine, because if you know what I know... And I know what I know, and based on what you saw, what happened with my last assistant. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You know. I know. That he doesn't know. Yes. You know? Uh, exactly. Yep. So once we get to where you know, yeah. you know. Yes. All right, man. I don't know what you're talking about, but we're leaving right now. Perfect. So let's Sounds go. great. Let's, let's go. go. So they hop in their buggy, and they head on out, and they meet up with their person out in the desert. Wow, we're really we're really out here, man. This is kind of crazy. I don't even You know, yeah, we're, nothing uh, worth nothing worth capturing was ever easy to get. Yeah. You know what they say? All right, well, we're um, meeting up it's with It's almost our, like a candle in the if wind. If you could stop interrupting it's, me. Okay, yep. Cuz we're about to meet the person we need to meet and get you guys on your way, okay? This Certainly. is really sensitive. Certainly. So, if you could just honestly keep your mouth shut. That would be really helpful. Yeah. Before hey, we... uh, dude, don't talk to Jerome that way. Yeah, don't talk to me don't that talk, way. That's not cool. Do you don't. know who he is? I mean, this man is is a legend. This... Don't talk. Don't, don't talk don't so. Don't talk so. Don't talk so rude, rude to me. To him. Don't talk. Sing don't the harmonies. Talk. Don't talk don't so. Talk so don't rude talk so rude to, to me. Him. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thank you okay. very much, Polly Planks. Uh, yeah. You know, I knew I kept you around for a reason. Whatever, man. This is the guy you need to meet. 
You guys here for the stuff? Hmm. By stuff, you mean the thing? Well, I got to get out of here because people might be watching us. So I'm going to hand you this map. Mm. And you're going to want this stone. Stone. And you're going to want this key. And this key. Thank and then you're going to want this saddle. Oh, okay. Paul, I, I got it. I yeah, got it. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, they, yeah, they, I got all of it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll just carry the map. Okay. I'll get the map. No, gentlemen. The very last thing I'm going to say to you. Start that way. Start that way? No, that way. That way. Th no, because you're saying that that way. So, that way. Turn a little bit to the right. No, other right. Okay, okay now down. Uh, put ma Make your hand vertical. Okay, now kind of make it like straight ahead. No, no angles. Okay. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Hold on, keep your hand up. No, I'm trying to help you. Yeah. No, maybe don't touch me, dude. No, no. Have you not seen the TikTok trend, bro? No, I don't fucking watch TikTok. What the fuck's wrong with you, is. dude? I don't even know what that shit is, dude. All right, so go this way. Yeah, th yeah, that was actually exactly where you needed to go. Great, good that to hear. That was so flippant. That's that all you I need. Get it when I was explaining Do I need anything else you? from you then? <laughs> where the fuck did you find this guy? You, you hey, know hey, hey. Lay off Jerome. No, no, Polly, right? Polly, that's okay. That's okay. I just get I'm heated when they not talk to you like that. Mass, what a wild, wild one. Yeah, 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 who you're messing with. So I say the next time you get your guy, you get somebody good who knows how to respect um, the person. Um, the only reason why you are alive and not him is because I know that you know where to go. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. Yeah, you're going that way, man. Just just follow the map. That way. It'll get you there. A, a little to the right. <sighs> that. Way. That's we start good. walking. Okay. Um, that I'll, I'll, way. I'm going to take off. So, like, you guys got this. See that you, way. That way. That way. Bay, 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 bay. <laughs> and the guy fucking dies. <laughs> no loose ends. No loose ends, Polly. Yep, yep. No loose ends. You're, you're totally no right. No loose ends. We run a, what was it? Tight ship? Tight ship. Tight ship? Tight ship. Tight ship? Tight ship. For the desert ship? For the desert ship. The now SS that's... ass. Yes. Tight ship for the desert ship. Three times. Tight, tight ship, ship for the desert ship. ship. Tight, tight ship for the desert ship. Tight ship for the desert ship. ship. Tight ship for the desert ship. Tight ship. Tight ship. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. So we're going through the desert and we travel. And it feels like we're walking for Come on, hours, Polly. Miles Burning and miles. Burning the daylight here. <laughs> You, Burning the daylight here. Uh, wow. 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 Can I have some water? Wow. Water? Uh, I just to have some water. You should have thought about that before you pissed over there. Wow. Think I have water out here? I thought. I just have enough water for myself. That's well, it. This stuff's just really heavy. Okay. And it'd be nice. Oh, oh, you want some water then? Well, okay. I just wanted to. I thought you have a tiny bit of water. It'll cost you though. What'll it? What'll it cost? Oh, you'll find out. You'll find out. I don't. You'll find out. You'll find out. You'll find out. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm. Okay. I trust you, man. Yeah. No. No. Certainly. Certainly. Okay. No loose ends, right? <laughs> no. Nothing. You said no loose ends as I was drinking. Like no, you're no, gonna no, kill no. me. No. I'm not going to kill you, Polly. <laughs> so I go to drink more water. <laughs> not breaking eye contact. Cool. Sounds good, Polly. Thanks. And I just drive it. And I drink some of it, too. 
I spit back into that. Yeah, oh, we have finite resources <laughs> in the middle of the desert, dumbass. Now, do you want to end up like kid soup over there, or do you want to live? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jerome. I, I'm just kind of... <laughs> You're on thin bucket ice, buddy. If I wasn't the main character and needed a sidekick, you'd be dead already. Do you understand me? No, I understand. Do you understand me? I understand. You'd be just like that fucking parade right there. Do you think I blinked when I executed all 4,000 of them? No. 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 I didn't even know what I was doing, but I did. Well, because you're the best. You're the best. Damn Whatever happened right. To, whatever happened to the guy that you that that was there with you? I mean, if you don't, don't want to talk about it, I understand. No, I don't have to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. But I need to. But not now. Maybe okay. sometime. First, ship! Come on, Polly! Okay. Um, I'll follow your lead. You have the map. Yes. Four paces due west. And 38 paces due south. <sighs> oh, the, wait. The, is it paces or miles? Oh, so, so we are walking, and on a, a couple days are going by. We're exhausted, and then we can't quite tell if it's real or a mirage. But we see a camel staring at us. Oh, is that a is that a camel? Oh man. It has just one hump. That would have been so funny if it had two humps. <laughs> you know why? Because I was going to tell that joke that I told on my first stand-up routine when I realized I was the main character. Oh, yeah. It was a TikTok live that I was performing. Oh. And I said, live, squad fam, welcome, Logang. That's cool. Uh, what do you call a three-humped camel? And then the guy predicted it but i said it before he could predict it you know what he said <laughs> what do you call a three humped camel uh i don't know he's a uh, two humped camel with an erection <laughs> it's pregnant oh and i go i'm about to collapse this and then the camel comes over to us i'm so thirsty you gentlemen have found the way it seems. I'm glad you've got here. It's been a long time since I've seen an adventurer such as the two of you. Mr. Camel. I know why you're you here. You don't have a third hump because you don't have a pregnant. That's correct. Yeah, fall over. <laughs> so, you wake up. Oh. And even though I was exhausted, I... I Grabbed the saddle, put it on the camel, and got you on there. And we're and I'm walking next to the camel because I know I don't even want to risk <laughs> putting myself on your level. <sighs> Polly, where, where you're awake? Yeah, oh. Polly. Jerome, we... I'm so glad you know your place. Yeah, of course, man. Oh. So where? This is the rest of my life. Boom. On a camel. Far Boom. from heights. Where is the ship of sea? Boom. Without a sea. Without Boom. a sea. Boom. In the Boom. sand. You have a great voice, Jerome. Oh, I know. My TikTok live squad fam keeps me humble. That's very cool. I do appreciate that that is the life you lead. Sounds like the perfect person to go where I'm taking you. Oh, Who can go yeah. where they need to go? Mr. Camel, before we go get there, because I know we're just about there, I'm really dehydrated. Oh, can you help me out? I can. Go ahead and hop off my hump. And yeah. lay on your back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on the sand there. You, uh, Polly? Yeah, yeah. 
come here. Now, put two hands under my stomach. Okay. All right. Jerome, open your mouth. Ah. Uh. Polly, push. What? Push up on my stomach. Uh, and I push up and and out uh. of the camel's mouth like a sprinkler, just sh- or like a fire hose, just shoots uh. water uh. saliva uh. in your uh. mouth. Oh. Uh. Thank you, Mr. Camel. That's right. You revitalized me. Oh, can you I? shall be my friend, my friend, my camel friend. His camel friend. My camel friend. friend my is only camel friend. friend. And thanks for your help too, Polly. But uh, camel really saved the day, didn't you, buddy? Could, could I have some water too? I've been walking this. Hey, come on, we gotta get going. Oh, okay. You can have some of this, and I pull out your backwash from, like, days before. <laughs> okay. And, and here you go. chug it down. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why I didn't want to drink it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank Anyways, you. Mr. Uh, Camel, Jerome. take it away. I slap his ass. Oh, well, off into the desert we go. Off into the desert we go. Traveling oh, desert, go. We to are off to be the ship. Wow, the fuck, there's two of you now, man. Oh, you know, I used to think my life was a solo act, but now I feel like there's room for. Maybe an ensemble and I'm the lead. What do you think, Mr. Camel? I've always wanted to be someone who adds to the scene, but doesn't steal it. (laughs) (laughs) You know what they say? There most definitely are no small roles. Only small roles. Actors. actors exactly mr camel you're such a you're a great oh you should have been my assistant this whole time polly you gotta get on mr camel's level honestly okay that's okay polly you're doing fine Do you're doing you fine for what i pay me, you Do i want to ride you <laughs> certainly and i sit on that's... top of your shoulders <laughs> oh mr camel you've been working too hard honestly just come on down buddy oh well Sure. And then you get if on you don't my mind, shoulders. Jerome, <laughs> you get on, on your fucking shoulders. <laughs> oh, You're going to want to go that direction. Perfect. We're right over the hill. <laughs> oh, uh, Come on, Polly. Uh, we're just I'm fine. I'm like crawling, dragging myself along the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh. Just over this hill. <sighs> and then we see it. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my god, it looks oasis. like water. And Mr. I Camel. you off and I, my back yeah, and run no, to the water. Fall over. Oh, oh. It's real. It's real, Jerome. It's, it's, it's not fake. It's Mr. Real. Camel wouldn't have lied to us, Polly. And neither would I. Oh my god, and I'm just shoveling water in my mouth. It is nice to have a toilet slash water fountain out in the middle of the desert. Oh. Oh, did you say a toilet? Yeah, you said a toilet. Uh, I... What? Anyways, I guess your assistant has some strange tastes. But mm. we are in need oh, yeah. of a certain stone. Oh! Clean the water and take you to where you need to go. Well, as a matter of fact, we have a stone, we have have a a stone, we have a saddle. For your knees, we have a stone, we have a key, we We have have a saddle saddle for my knees. knees. To put more pressure on your back and not on your knees. Exactly. Oh, right. So we have all of the things for this adventure because I am the lead protagonist and you're all living in it because this is the greatest desert oasis. Uh, Mr. Camel, 
I don't usually say this, but uh, here's a tiny bit, uh, you know, under on that one. I know. I'll try it again. Let's try it again. <clears throat> the desert oasis. Yes. We'll work on that. I felt, yeah, yeah. That, that wasn't my best, but I'll work on it. I Polly, you. Polly, take note here. Mr. <sighs> Camel needs to work on his intuition on okay. the, um, that one. Well, no. Anyways. So, all right. You just need to cast the stone into the water. It will clean it. All right. And I toss the stone. Now you can't drink from this clean water. <laughs> It will be where you need to travel in order to reach your destination. Do you understand? I think I do. I need you to take a dip. Take a dip into the water and you'll find somewhere that will take you to a different world. And we see Polly starting to dip his toes in. And I'm like, no, get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no. on the side. I'm so weak. I just crumble to the side. <laughs> and I dip my big toe in. Then my foot. And then my other foot. And the water almost starts glowing. I have waited many years for this moment. Pop Pop and his legacy have led to this moment. <laughs> Give it to me, Mr. Camel and Polly. You led me here. You are my guides. Yeah. Travel into the water, my friend. You will find a door. And it should be the perfect fit for your key. Swim through and emerge on the other side. And it'll look like you're in the exact same place, but I promise you, the map will be dry, and it'll take you to where you need to go. You got it. Will I see you on the other side, Mr. Camel? Unfortunately, this is where our journey ends for now, but I do hope we see each other again, because every ensemble needs a leading role. You're absolutely right. Polly, how about yourself? Are you coming with me or are you staying here? Oh, I'll come, I'll come with. I'm coming. I have to All right, I, don't, I, need, I need a yes from you. Yes, a yes or yes, a no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Drum. You know what yep. they say? One, two, three, commit. You have to one, commit two, three, to this. Commi- I could, it's Mr. Plattsfield, I'm committed to you. Polly, sir. you've proven your metal with this whole ordeal. Oh, you have you. done everything from highlighting my script. Thank you. To giving me your saliva when I needed it. Thank you. And I just have to say... Thank you. ...that you are the reason why I say there are no small roles to a small actor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Because you are the so smallest much. actor in so many ways. Oh. But some would say it's the little things that count. Okay. That Well, I guess that's still kind of nice. That's if the- you know how to use it. Right. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I, I appreciate that. Like, I try to use... Not saying that you do. Oh. What are you saying? I'm saying... <laughs> have you ever had a leader that trusted you so much that they wanted to be your number one fan and your friend forever? Only in my dreams. Well, today <laughs> your dreams have come true. Really? If your dream was to be the worst assistant <laughs> ever... No, what what can I do to make up this for you? But only if only you if... limit yourself, you'll be the worst assistant. Oh, ever. I would never limit myself on under your tutelage. I know you would, master. Which is why you're gonna come with. Okay, I'll come and with. Be my assistant. You got it. I'll do anything you ask me to do. I no matter what is it what takes. you would want me to say. How about? You Unless, come in and be my right hand man. Yeah. Too bad that was my left hand. One more time, my right hand man. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay, okay come on, let's Polly. Go. Let's rock and roll. But before we go, I turn over to Mr. Camel. It's been a real pleasure. But uh, what do I say? Um, do da ba ba. And the camel explodes. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? No loose ends, Polly. No loose no ends. Loose ends. And we go into the water and we start swimming <laughs> towards the dark. We... Ooh. This is kind of refreshing. I know, yeah, this is really difficult. 
We all find the door, grab the handle, I put the key in, turn it. And we start sliding through the door. And so we mad dash to the top. Oh my god, we made it, I think. We made it. Oh. He said, is the map dry? He said the map would be dry. Yep, the map is right here. It is dry as a whistle. Jerome, I, I don't think we need the map. And we look up. And oh my god. See. It's real. I knew it was real, but this is so much nicer than I expected. It's a beautiful ship. Mahogany wood, spruce wood, gopher wood. Redwood, morning wood, wood, all of the woods we need on this ship. All of the woods we need. All the woods that I need, and you're just living in it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I, I guess we should take a look. Huh? Oh, absolutely. My pop-pop told me about this ship decades ago. I have to see what's inside. So... We can climb aboard the ship. It's in fairly... No, not yet. <laughs> it's in fairly good condition. Now we're looking around. I mean, it feels so ghostly. I, it, 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 it's like perfectly preserved. There's nothing it, broken about it. You know, this kind well, of reminds me of this here? one. Do you, do you follow Charlie D'Amelio on TikTok? Or that guy who does like 3 a.m. videos? On, I don't... On... No, I don't. I'm well... Sorry. This is very reminiscent of that guy who FaceTimed a Hamburglar at 3 a.m. And it went totally wrong. And so he FaceTimed Minnie Mouse as well. Uh, and this guy named Mickey the Rat. Yeah, at 3 a.m. It's crazy, dude. What are you talking TikTok about? TikTok trends. What you know? are you it's fucking talking about, Jerome? Holly, you what cannot are you talk to me like that. What are you fucking talking about anymore? You talk about TikTok shit. You talk about all this fucking ridiculous nonsense. All the time. Renegade. That's old. No one knows what you're fucking even talking about anymore. But you just scat people to death. So they're scared of you. But no one actually has a fucking clue about what you're even trying to say. And you keep pushing me through shit. I drank my own days old backwash for your ass. So what the fuck are you even talking about anymore? You know, I thought we were mutuals. Buddy. No, you didn't. You've treated me like shit. It's like I was the alpha and you were the beta and you really gave me beta energy. It's something I learned from dating advice on TikTok and I thought it was pretty good. No one gives a fuck about TikTok. It literally doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter what doesn't you think. It doesn't matter. Because this More is my TikTok. world and you're just living in it. Ba, don't, ba, no, ba. don't. Don't you fucking dare. You're gonna fucking die. You're gonna fucking die. Bitch, don't. It's not scatting. Don't you fucking dare do it. Yeah? Don't. Are you sure? Jerome. You want to take back what you said? About TikTok and how it's the worst thing ever? You want to say it's the best thing ever? I find a bottle and I smash it up and... I'll fucking do it, Jerome. Do it! I'll fucking stab you! Right now! You motherfucker! Stab me! And I lunge for you. And I go, <laughs> Before I murder you, I hope you know, no loose ends, this is a fake neck pad. And I rip what? this off. How did you know I was going to stab <laughs> you? No loose ends, motherfucker. <laughs> so you see, on the ship, you're in the captain's quarters, and you see a little note that says, He who seeks the ultimate golden power shall find it by stomping their only flower. And suddenly, you feel a rumbling. 
No, it wasn't. And you look outside the cabin, and there's ghostly figures manning the deck. Oh, Pop Pop, is that you? And you see an entire crew, ghost crew, preparing the ship for their new captain. I am sailing on my ship. I am sailing on my ship. I am sailing on my ship. Wait a minute. Does this mean what I think it means? And we fly off. I will never age again. I will never age again. I will live on forever. For my name is Jerome. I left my home. This is my ship. This is my dome that I live and run without a friend. Because this adventure will never end. No loose ends. And scene. Dun, dun. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, what a That's good what closing Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about, bitch. No <laughs> loose no ends. No loose ends. I did not expect Polly to fucking blow up know. at the end, dude. That's <laughs> I wild. I, I wasn't, yeah, I just, I had enough. I had been mistreated and Nobody I Nobody knows enough. what TikTok Nobody is. knows what TikTok is. But then you say renegades <laughs> old, so you didn't know what TikTok was. You're just being I, an asshole. I like to belittle your interests <laughs> in this show. Like when you were the Hamilton character, and I was like, nobody even fucking knows what you're talking about. <laughs> Did I say that was my interest? Am I just a oh crap? No, when yeah. you had when you had uh, the Halloween episode. Oh no no I know I oh, know yeah. TikTok. Do you do you think all I do is watch TikTok and, and oh no not I, you oh, specifically your gotcha. character characters in yes I was yes like, I like sorry no 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 your character specifically I, I like do to like just be a character that bashes their interests. I do like how this episode ended. Yeah. I, like, so does that mean he's Captain BB? Uh, I guess no. it's up for interpretation. I think he for- found Captain BB's ship. Found the ship. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, this does not make sense. Yeah, because Cap- Captain BB happened along. Yeah. Yo, oh, that's right. So, we're, we're kind of tying more in. Because I was like, you know, we haven't really, like, tied in we anything tied in a anything. while. And I was like, let's so, bridge some gaps. We need to do a, you know, previously on. But the idea yeah. is, uh, yeah. Back in the day, Captain BB was hunting for Daniel Radcliffe's golden socks, and we have seen those socks appear in many different situations. Many different episodes. It's Daniel Radcliffe like, made an appearance. Yeah, in Daniel of Radcliffe, uh, Gordon Ramsay's made an appearance. Mickey the Rat has been a figure. Doctor Phil. All these characters come together, That's and right. they are passing along this power from these golden socks from Daniel Radcliffe. Boy wizard himself. Even Smanson searched for socks. Yeah, he did. Or I believe he did. I'm pretty sure Smanson searched for socks. Yeah, yeah. we had That's a crazy. yeah. So we we've got a lot going on in the multiverse is expanding. But what's here. phenomenal is yeah, what Crispin or Aspen, which which one traveled uh, to hunt for with the, Aspen is the one who left with the NASCAR driver with the NASCAR yeah. driver. Crispin became. Crispin died as an Elmo. Uh, That's right. Guy That's by the right. window washers. Yep. So Crispin's uh, dead because Aspen. Yeah, he bailed. His big yeah. bird bailed. His big bird bailed. So we have a whole. There's a whole thing fucking of lore. huge lore. But the going general on now. consensus is these, you know, fucking Platsky. What the fuck is his name? Jerome, Jerome Platsfield. Jerome Platsfield. Yeah, Jerome Platsfield found Captain BB's ship. And he's on the search for these golden socks that controls a lot of power. That's right. We've got a phenomenal story. The best story in the world. We're really getting it tied together here. It's incredible. Aspen and the NASCAR driver and Mickey the Rat are all on the uh, one side of things. Mm -hmm. We've had Dr. Phil make appearances and a lot of 
things about him. The Golden you know, Sox are now now Jerome has a fucking ghost pirate ship. Mm-hmm. Some people There's compare this to like on. you know Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I say we're a lot better because yeah. we can say fuck. Yeah, that we makes don't have, us expert. We're not corporate. Better. We we're have not corporate. soul. Do you know how many times I've talked about eating Anthony's ass? They don't do that. In the MCU. When are we going to see Hulk eat Captain America's ass, <laughs> That's dude. America's ass. That's America's <laughs> ass. That Eating Hulk America's ate. ass. I want to see, see this? The, the Hulk do it. Yeah. I would pay money to see the Hulk do it. I'm yeah. going to go home and see if I can find a video of the Hulk doing it. And then we're going to do it. That's right. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. Jerking Hashtag. off. Hashtag. <laughs> wait, wait. Extra, extra. <laughs> eat all about eat it. Eat all about it. Woo! So phenomenal story. That was a good story. So where did you and like think it was gonna go? If you didn't uh, think he was I mean, the the smart. very very ending uh, that is kind of where I wanted it to go somewhat. I wasn't sure what Polly's That's fate fair. would be. Uh, I didn't think you'd kill I, everybody. I thought the camel was sticking around. I didn't know you were gonna kill the camel. You're the one who said, you know, you like. <laughs> I was like, Mr. Camel, are you coming with? And you were like, nope, this is it. And I was like, okay, peace well, out. I, I, I kind of wanted hey, it to, I, I was planning it to be like a little open-ended. So I was like, the gotcha. camel could just, like, I wasn't planning on bringing him back for the story. No loose ends. But I was like, he could maybe make an appearance down the road if we feel like it. No loose ends, sorry. But you know, it. Mr. Camel could have a sibling. Could have a sibling. Could have a sibling, something to think about. The magical, mystical camel. Yeah. Who you needed the saddle for. Mm-hmm. And got you along the way. Yeah. And then you... Fucking when you <laughs> there were multiple times where I was dying this episode. I don't remember what the first one was where I was like, <laughs> like I couldn't take it at all. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know. I might have scattered or something. I was it with the? It was with the first guy I killed. Was it with the first guy you killed? Yeah, he was like go like this way. I was like no this way. No, and then this you just way. fucking killed him. Yeah, I killed and killed him, and I was like okay, so we'll go this way. And the other guy was like yeah, yeah, you actually got it right that time. Yeah, <laughs> actually that got it right. That good. was how did you do that? Like you yeah. That was perfect. And then when you um, when you the fake neck or no when and you were like fucking do it stab me uh, I couldn't take that at all yeah every time you didn't I looked have the at fucking you dick. Yeah. you didn't have the fucking balls every to do it bro every time I looked at you, you I just couldn't fucking handle it <laughs> that was so funny glad you loved it my favorite fucking little bit was like the oh you were amazing if this is an alternate universe yeah. <laughs> you're you just kept fucking baiting but then, me but, but then you were just like you know, sir, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Yeah, like, what you know, do point you blank, mean? What are you like, talking about? I don't know. Yeah. I was just like, great. well, that's a TikTok trend in itself, which is why I thought it was it was <laughs> deeply embedded. Hilarious. So, yeah, that was a TikTok trend that I was like, oh, you're working a couple trends. A couple TikTok nice. references throughout this episode. So that's pretty nice, good. Nice, mm-hmm. Well, you know, Jerome Plattsfield's a big TikToker, you know? He's a big TikToker. Man, we have a lot to... I was going to create, like, a fucking... This is how the lore connects. I think for no, episode ninety nine, we the episode should just be lore. this is how ha- like how it all connects. We can have ninety nine part or ninety nine like part two or something like that. You know, not part two, but in episode ninety nine is a normal episode, and then yeah. we have a buffer like catch up on everything. Yeah. And then you so know, it could be like a bonus in the middle of like a bonus. This episode. isn't necessarily. A story we're gonna tell you the lore the leading up lore. to episode one hundred. That's a great idea. And then, and then it's like I boom. like that a lot. Let's and do then, that. You oh, know, if you like that too, email intense. us at Michael and Anthony Adventures at gmail dot com. And you know? if you have some cool ideas for lore, because we don't like w- we don't know stone. what next week's story will be. So yeah. it could be fucking anything. So if you have some cool ideas. Maybe we'll think they're cool ideas. And yeah, and if you want to add a sponsored character trait, you know, or yeah. like, you're just like, oh, this would be a really funny quirk. If you want to add just a silly quirk or scenario that you're, uh, you want a character have, like, or oh, kink, or sure, whatever you want. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, he really likes it when you stroke his armpit hair or something He's silly like that. Just throw that into the mix. Finder. Shoot us. Consumer. Yep, exactly. Shoot us at Michael and Anthony Adventures at gmail.com for all of your uh, sexy needs. That is Once Michael again, and Anthony Adventures, Adventures at gmail.com. gmail.com. For all and of also your sexy needs. DM us on some shit. Exactly. Homie. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Fucking get it. 
bitch. And if you'd be so kind, please send us uh, a cute little review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or iHeartRadio or whatever you listen to your podcast. Wherever you listen because to Because a single review goes miles, especially with uh, you know what we're trying to do, which is tell you the best stories we possibly can and only improve ourselves. Uh, and we can only really improve ourselves if you give us feedback and you tell know us we, we're doing good or we, not. We are a five-star rated podcast. Yeah. Because so, we have a five-star review. Yeah. So if you want to make sure that, uh, you know, we're stronger in the five-star. Yeah, you know keep those I mean? five-stars coming. That'd be phenomenal. If you think this is a one-star podcast, well then, Fuck you know, off. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stick around for a sec. Rewatch some good episodes. And then reevaluate and then Change give us a five. And if then you, you still think it's a one, maybe a two-star episode, you know, get some help. Say it's better help. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So but if, if you, you have something if super nice to say, say all, say, say all the time. Every single bit of it. So like if it's less than five, then I'll see you behind because exactly. I'm moving forward and you're not moving at all. But so not, honestly, exactly. grow up. Get some help. Arnett. Better help. Our net, and with that, folks, <laughs> what do you say? Should we wrap it up? I think we should wrap it before we tap it. In that case, everybody, thank you very much for watching and listening. And make sure to send us a review on iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube if you'd be so kind, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Michael and Anthony Adventures at gmail.com, M and percent A apostrophe S, Adventures at gmail.com. Thank you very much. And bye-bye. Kisses.